Hello everyone, um, about two days ago I posted a video about um, me having problems with my R9 290 with both FPS and just overall performing really really bad uh, but I found a solution um, it was actually my drivers they weren't they weren't correctly installed um, but I'm gonna show you how at least I, I got my problem fixed uh, so when you, what you want to do is you want to open your web browser and you want to go to AMD and then you download the latest drivers. So it depends which operating system you are on. You are you are on. I am on Windows 7 64 bit. So just press it right there, and it will take you to the Catalyst software. And you want to download the 13.12. You do not want to download the latest beta driver. Not that one. You want to download this one. So you just press download. But I have already done that, so you don't need to do that. Or I don't need to do that. Um, and then you want to come to this website, which is called um, on Guru 3D. And it's a program called Down uh, Display Driver Uninstaller, or DDU, as they shorted it. Um, and what, what this program does, it, um, as you can see, it just uninstalls your your display drivers, your, um, like, if you have AMD, it, it, it removes your AMD drivers, if you have NVIDIA, it removes your NVIDIA drivers, uh, and it's really, really good, actually, um, <coughs> there's no viruses or anything, it's actually really good, um, and I'm gonna link you this website in the description, so the download is gonna start immediately, but if it doesn't, just press down there, um, and then when you've downloaded it, it's gonna look like this, the first file of uh, the DDU or display driver uninstaller, so you just press that one and start it. Um, and then it's <coughs> going to extract extract itself as you can see it's in a zip file, so it's going to be extracting itself and it's going to look like this. Um, and what you want to do, you're going to press this one and just press yes. And what it's going to do, it says, DDU has detected you are not in safe mode for better cleanup uh, without issues. Would you like to reboot? Um, this is what you would like to do. But before you do this, you want to... I'm going to close this down. This is how the program looks like. But before you do anything like that, what I did, I, I went into con the control panel, uh, uninstall a program, and then went into AMD. Let's see. Um, there we go. AMD... Catalyst install manager, you want to ins uninstall that. Uh, and when it has been installed, uninstall every you want to uninstall everything, every little thing. And when it's done that, you want to go into another program that you want to download. It's called C Cleaner. Go into tools, and then this one is still going to be there. Uh, and then you press run, run in uninstaller. Uh, let's see. AMD Display or AMD Catalyst Install Manager, and you want to uninstall that as well in C Cleaner. You can find C Cleaner. Um, I mean, if you search for C Cleaner, it's gonna come up right there. You can uh, you can find it right there. Um, this website, you just press download. Great works, great. No viruses, no nothing. Um, and when you have done that, like I said, you want to go into this program right here, but you want to be in safe mode, like I said. Um, you can see here. Um, so when you click on it, like I said, it's gonna tell you you're not in safe mode for better cleanup, and it's gonna press yes on this one. Then it's gonna reboot and put you in in safe mode. And but right now I'm just gonna show you like this instead. And what you wanna do is if you have AMD drivers and you're trying to find a solution for R9290. Press AMD and press also remove um, C AMD as well. Then you clean and clean and restart. What you want to press uh, and it's going to do that and restart your computer and you're going to end up being into booting up into Windows again. Um, and then what I did, I went into control panel. Um, and the um, uh, can't remember the English name, but this is how it looks like. Um, you know, you go in and then you look up your AMD 
you need to just press uninstall this driver after you've done that. Um, and then you go into the uh, 13.12 Windows 7, um, you know, the, the uh, this one, you know, and un in install this one. And make sure that everything is marked and make sure that everything is selected and install it. And it's going to tell you, okay, restart your computer. And you should do that. <clears throat> and uh, I got amazing results by doing this. Uh, I'm just going to go into my photos and just open it up with Windows Explorer. Um, and same with this one. So, as you probably know, this is from my last video I showed you. This is my first U Engine Valley benchmark. As you can see, my score is 539, and I'm running on Extreme HD uh, preset and you know, all of that. You can see horrible results, but when I installed the right drivers, this is what I got instead. I got 2343 score, 56 average FPS. As you can see, I'm running in extreme HD preset and exactly the same presets and everything uh, so it's a huge 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 imp improvement uh, from the old drivers and I will also show you the performance increase in Battlefield 4 as well so as you can see right now um, I'm getting 81 82 FPS just in, in the um, start start screen or whatever um, and last time when I made the or in the last video I got around maybe like 50 49 or 30 or something like that 35 maybe I can't remember um, which is just uh, amazing honestly um, that was me I just fixed something <laughs> um, and as you can see as well I'm running uh, ultra settings ultra preset uh, everything on the highest and vertical sync off so you can see how much the uh, how, to, how much better it is and you can deploy um, just you know 73 76 77 and this map is very very like intense so to say um, I'm gonna try to run since I'm only using one hand it's kind of hard but I'm getting over 60 66 over 60 at least, so I'm happy with that, and I would die anyway. Um, but as you can see, my GPU core or GPU load is on 100, um, and uh, my temperatures are fine. And I actually do recommend you getting uh, MSI Afterburner. Uh, you can look it up and install the, as you can see in the bottom, the 3.0.0 beta 18. Um, because you can actually, you, you, you manage, you can, you know, you select your fan speed, um, recently because, uh, the fan speed, when it's on automatic, it, it, it goes up to, um, 95, but with this one you can set it to whatever you like. I usually put it on 55 or 50, it is pretty loud, but it, it, it cools my card, uh, and I'm going to be getting water cool. Uh, I'm going to be water cooling my card as well in the future. As you can see, my, my uh, cores are running fine, perfectly fine. Um, my temperatures again, perfectly fine. And I'm just going to deploy again. And s since I said this map is pretty like intense compared to other maps, it makes it oh. <laughs> makes it um, you know just getting over 60 is awesome in ultra at least for me I think it's great and, and when I played on other maps yesterday when I actually found uh, I actually um, found this solution yesterday night in the middle of the night but I didn't want to post the video that late um, and uh, on other maps, like smaller maps and maps that aren't this intense and that are this graphics, <laughs> graphic intense or whatever, I got over over 100 and I was lying on like 75 to 120 FPS. 
uh, on those maps so it really really improves your performance um, to do this if you have any questions please just uh, leave a comment down below um, if you have any questions at all with what kinds of in to install or whatever but thank you for watching bye